so back at um, what was it called? Something Mutna? Tesha Mutna? I think it was called something like that. So where we uh, where Regis transformed into a vampire for the first time in this DLC, where we uh, triggered his bloodlust. Where's Siana? Nice place, isn't it? Offers a lovely view of the valley. On a clear day, you can see the outlines of Duntine. Okay, lovely. But we're not here to sightsee, I presume. Hello, uh, booty call. Go in like any other, I think. Ugh, so sensitive. So aware. Honestly, what did Declaff ever see in you? Perhaps he'll tell you himself. Yeah, perhaps he will. Nervous, Siano? You nervous? Mm-hmm. It's always a bit nerve-wracking meeting an ex. Especially so when said ex is a vampire. I doubt he'll be in the mood for jests. I know. Ugh, may I be honest? Yes, I'm nervous. I really would prefer just to run off. I gave my word I would help, I know. But how much is that worth? Yet I owe him this meeting. And that is that. Well, that's really gracious of you, Siana. So, uh, get ready. Let's get ready. Deadlove will be here any moment now. I'm hoping he is, because that war is going to have to stop in Beauclair. Okay, Regis, what are you expecting? What is she doing? Oh, or is she just hiding? Okay. That love, where are you? Where's the red smoke? I wonder if vampires can choose their smoke color. Maybe they need to pay to upgrade that. He's taking a long time for him being a vampire though. And she is really, really nervous and I wouldn't blame her. Okay, there he is. Maybe she shouldn't be the one standing at the door right now. Hi! Ren. Rena, yeah, indeed. Siana. Siana. I have a question I must ask you. Did you truly feign it all? That which bound us was a ruse. Dead love. It's not that simple. I... Oh, no. It's very simple. You either deceived me or not. In forgiving you, I grieve. For now, we must part. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the hell just happened? What? 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 how? Uh, yeah, indeed, how? We're back in the land of a thousand fables. I've been fooled again. No, oh, the ribbon she saved her life. For the sooner or later, she will pay. Take it Do easy, that off. Oh shit, that's gonna be a problem. Oh, Regis, come on, Regis, take it easy. Take it easy, boys. Ooh, this is gonna be awesome. Um, yeah, Geralt, I would hurry if you want to help out. I think I just got everything back. Okay, first things first. I know from our previous fight that that love is considered to be a beast. Although, I'm wondering what weapon I'm going to use, because you put that on, is the, and that's my silver sword. Okay, we don't even get the chance. Come on, guys. Okay, what now? 
Yeah, okay. Regis, Jesus, come on. Here we go again. So I'm guessing it's gonna be vampire oil then. This is gonna take a while. Jesus Christ. And that just stopped us. I only took out a third, I think. What is happening? Holy shit! What the? F okay, that's not good. Yeah, indeed. Um, this this is not gonna end well. Yeah. Oh shit! 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 What's going on? What's going on? I can't move. So he leaves sticky spots. Dodge that. I can't fucking dodge that. Oh shit. Okay.
Okay. Okay. That did something. Cut off his wings. So that should take out the bat attack, I suppose. Uh, okay. Geralt. That doesn't look good. Should have taken a black blood before that, I suppose. Okay, this is going crazy. There's a giant heart all of a sudden. What the fuck is this? He's the devil. Okay, that love. Hi. Hey, there's, there's these kind of pustulas in the corner. Looks like I need to take those out as well. There we go, there's one. Seems like that is taking his health away. Yeah, he is annoying me though. So I'm gonna keep Quan active. There goes another one. I think he's almost down. And there it goes. What's this? What's going on? What's going on? I'm st still getting hurt. What the fuck is this? Seems like I can take him out if I want to. Ooh. Yes! That took me a while. That took me a few tries. So when he does that bat attack, you need to just run around. Because that was the only way I could actually evade it. And then you could actually take him out during flight as well. If he charges you with a dive bomb, you could take him out. Regis, are you okay? He looks fine. So we just took out the higher vampire, I think. <coughs> but I think Regis has to uh, perform the killing blow. Because he's regenerating already. Sorry, Regis, that you're gonna be forced to do this. Leave him to me. Be gone. I can't let him. I insist. Okay then. So he's gonna take him out permanently, because only a higher vampire can kill another higher vampire. Ooh, look at that. Goodbye, that off. I'm so sorry, Regis. Um why do I have the feeling Reaches is going to be very mad at Siano? So completed Teshamutna, and we have something fancy. We're wearing something very Why? fancy. What a smashing ensemble! You wear it well. Shut up! I look like a twit. The kaftan is sewn of the best fabrics available, and according to the best tailoring practices. Interesting. But one must have a modicum of taste to appreciate this. Even the most exquisite robes cover only deficiencies in beauty, never in refinement. Yeah, yeah, we get it. You don't like us. So, I just want to have a little chat about what just happened as well, because I think the only reason Siana just survived that ordeal is because we won that ribbon from uh, the girl that sells flint. 
well, Fistack right now. So that's just because of our Gwen skills, we were able to save Siana. Okay then. Um, not about to debate taste, yes indeed. I'd rather not bicker about taste. Don't like to. It's neither interesting nor productive. This particular Witcher has an inborn intolerance for formal occasions. Yet he's to attend just such an event shortly. I expect that's the source of his prickliness. So yeah, try yeah, not yeah, to take personally, Master Taylor. Rather pity him. For in truth, stage fright overwhelms him. He trembles at the thought that he has no notion how to behave in the presence of Her Grace's Majesty. Hmm. As well he should. All that being as it may, Toussaint's highest honor, the Order of Vitis Vinifera, demands appropriate attire. Oh, so that's why the, the sword was called Vitis. Expected to drape the medal on a suit of armor caked in mud? Palace protocol places enormous emphasis on form, virtuous tradition, etiquette. Huh. A tradition which values appearances ahead of all else, which calls for lordly, glistening triviality and misplaced generosity. Are you okay, Regis? Can sense that philosophical mood coming on? Sound wistful. Pensive, Regis. That because they refuse to buy you a new outfit? Hardly. It's the tone I ever adopt when I find myself pondering, which, believe it or not, happens quite a lot. Well, we believe that, Besides, certainly. I've no need for a new outfit, as I shall not be attending the ceremony. Why oh, not? come on, because Regis. Because unlike you, I don't have to. I shall begin to pack my belongings instead. I trust you'll join me later, once you're richer by a medal and a fascinating new experience. Count on it. You sound a bit bitter, Regis, so, uh, reminds me. Hmm. Ceremonies. Medals honoring virtues. Just keeps coming up. Look Life at Geralt's arms. Better. And I keep thinking of the last great virtue, compassion. It's the one piece of the puzzle that never seemed to fit. Mean you suddenly believe the five virtues theory? After all we've revealed? It's not a question of belief, superstition, or old wives' tales. It's a conclusion derived through exercising pure logic. Siana planned everything in advance. Had we not stopped her, surely there'd have been a fifth victim. One the gossips would have associated with a lack of compassion. Her, her plans sister. don't matter now. Can't act on them. Ask the messenger who delivered my invitation to the ceremony. Siana's in the palace. Courtiers pressured the Duchess to lock her in a tower. Do you care not a whit? Just like long locks. We've some time before the ceremony. We could still chat with that boot cleaning urchin. He was the one to pass the victims' names to Detlaf. Perhaps we missed something. Perhaps we did. Huh. Um, no point in investigating any further. Well, that wouldn't be no fun. So how do you know the boot black delivered the letters? Regis, boot black didn't say anything about making deliveries when we talked. Yeah, to indeed. Him. How do you know he handled the letters? While you basked in glory and tried on new formal wear, I conducted a little investigation of my own. You'd be very proud to see how I conducted myself. I began by concocting an ample supply of boot wash for our enterprising young friend. <laughs> I'd observed well, that was nice. street folk, amidst their society as a whole, reciprocity takes precedence over all other codes, and thus no good deed goes unrewarded. Of course, the same holds true for malicious or destructive deeds. The letters. What's the connection? When the boot black arrived to collect his bucketful, he hinted he knew more. Simply put, we'd failed to ask the proper questions when we chatted earlier. It took a bit more tongue loosening, but ultimately he spoke. He admitted he'd handed Detlaf the letters. He knew this information was valuable to me. In providing it, he was simply repaying me. Okay, so then indeed we need to investigate that, so uh, need to talk to the boot black, so let's oh, go. No. Why not check up on that? We'll go together, assuming we're done here. I am done, yes. It lies in your hands now to see if you are able to present my handiwork at the ceremony with the dignity it is due. Or if you will first destroy it, crawling about the city's underbelly. Promise to be careful. Yeah, we will. I hope. I do hope I have some say in the matter. Oh, it's the swordsman. Good to see you. Here for a spiffing? Dirty boots are a stain on professional dignity, you know. Step on up. Need to ask you something. Yet again? 
Go on then. I'm a proponent of free speech and I will gladly tell you all I know. <laughs> and why not yeah, right. Boots shanked while we jabber. Guess they well then. Spit and polish. Okay then. Then I shall take advantage as well. A friend of mine used to say boots should be as clean as the soles that wear them. Ooh, fancy shoes. A fine slogan. Okay, so little guy, speak up. So, uh, letters you delivered. Remember them. Man in the frock coat. You passed him some letters, remember? Why, of course. I'm young, got a mind like a steel trap, but... If you're about to tell me this information will cost me, forget it. How'd you get those letters? Beckers brought them. Okay. And why didn't you tell us before? Why probably because us we before didn't we ask the right time. questions, didn't probably. Ask about beggars now, did there you? we go. There we go. Okay, knew that was going to happen. Beggars, who were beggars. they? Tell us more about them. How many were there? Why, four. One for each letter. Just four? Sure you didn't get a fifth? I can't count, you know. Remember anything else? These beggars have anything in common? What? Come now. It was different. Some had mismatched boots, others had no boots at all. Oh, I know. They all had no home. Kid, my patience is starting to run a little thin. Now think hard. Um, where did the beggars get the letters from or remember what they looked like? Yeah, I want to know how they, they looked, looked like. like. Of course. I have a mind like a steel trap as I said. Yeah, we know that. They were ragged. Unshaved. Their clothes were tattered. As to their boots, well, I mentioned that already. Geralt, allow me to ask a question. Listen, lad. I'll be glad to mix another batch of that boot shine for you. But you must focus now and tell us all you know. Where can we find the beggars? Well, at the shelter, most like. Where's that? Everyone Which knows. shelter? It's just round the corner. Up those stairs, then right. Thanks, kid. So those we'll guys were just right there all along. Okay then. We must visit the shelter. Look around inside. Okay then, we will. Let's see. So it's right around the corner, right here, and that's where the beggars were supposed to come from. Okay. This is a decent district. We need no filth folk. Um, we're. What do you want? To talk. I don't want to wreck my clothes. Of breath. We've tried it, only to tire our lips. We'll use other means of persuasion now. Gentlemen, calm, please. Either get out along with these flea-ridden vagabonds, or we'll toss you all out. Our patience is gone. This place is no longer a rank refuge. Can I use Axie Sad. in this situation? Folk live here. Um, what's the harm in them living here, the indeed? Shelter. Them living here bothers you. Question is why. Look, Ballot. Another defender of the poor. Fighter for justice. Damn you, sense. We for our women and young folk living next door. When even grown men fear to walk past such rabble. And why is that? Just because he's different than you? So, meaning you, you're decent. Decent folk you mention. Mean yourselves. Why? Do you doubt it? Hell yes. Hear that, Artois? He poking insults us. On our own turf. Take it easy, fellas. Fellow. My friend is perfectly capable of settling this unfortunate dispute on his own. Well, I could use your help, Regis. Um. Let's oh, shit. Dance. And I started with... Okay, that's one. All right. And there we go. I can take a hint. Hopefully Come, my clothes aren't too damaged right thank now. Thank you so much for your aid. I tried to reason with them, but they'd have beat me blue had you not come along. I'm grateful. Immensely. What did they want from you? They are neighbors. Wish me to take my folk, the shelter, elsewhere. They dislike that I help the beggars. 
I do not oppose going elsewhere were we to have somewhere to go. But you've come with a problem, have you? My turn to aid you. Yes, indeed. So, uh, we need some information. We need some information. Looking for a man who might have mentioned the boot black in Rue de Girl. The boot black? A feisty lad. I know him. Any of your, uh, wards supposed to meet him recently or soon? Forgive me. Those I help and I are not so close that I would know. But should you wait, they'll all soon come for their meal. Okay, sounds like a plan. Yourselves? Yes, indeed. So uh, all the beggars will be there. Sure, all your usual beggars will be here. They're not obliged to come, of course. But they rarely find a decent meal elsewhere. So almost all in the area eat here. Okay, thanks. We'll wait. Thanks. We'll wait. Nice of you to let us. So uh, let's wait uh, a few hours probably then, or maybe a few minutes. When do these guys eat? There we go, a few hours later. And they're My all names. having a nice meal. I have a matter to address before I serve this soup. These two gentlemen have some questions of you. Pay attention. Answer in brief. For if you draw it out, your soup will go cold. And we wouldn't want that, would we? Recently, four of you delivered sealed letters to the boot black. I know this. Why did the music suddenly change? Does anyone know what the gentleman means? Go on, speak up. Romain? Well, Romain, come on. We were all told not to mention the letters. We all swore. You can tell me. To who? You were given a letter and you delivered it, right? Good work, Romain. Thank you. Who else? I got one too. Uh, gave it to the boot black. Freshy, he got one, but he can't tell you, as he's not here. Yeah, apparently. And the fourth one, I still probably have the third guy. Time. I'm to deliver it two days after the feast of Saint Barnabas. Okay then. Um, give me that letter. It's a matter of importance to the duchy. Hand it over, or I'll take it from you, plain and simple. But I was to deliver it personally. Let no one else see it. That is what she said, and she was frightening. You are she? to meet folk who are kind and honest. This man helped me a short while ago, helped all of us. If this individual threatened you, you need not keep the promise you made. All right, take it. I didn't want to see the boot black anyways. It's always muddy there. <laughs> yeah, he made sure of that. So let's see what the last name... The last name was probably... Anna Henrietta then. Or not. Damn it. What is it? Ah, uh, shit. Another name, truly? See for yourself. Well, well. I... I must say, even I did not expect this. This time you will see to our Duquesa. It seems we underestimated Siana rather grossly. So wait. Judging by this, Detloff was literally supposed to tear her heart out. Yeah. First you must snap her neck. Puzzling. So, Siana is the last victim. Oh no, so the last victim is the Duchess. Complete the puzzle for puzzle you? complete now. Alas, the matter ceased to be a tantalizing brain tease and has turned incredibly grave. We've proof of a plot to assassinate Toussaint's ruler. We've proof of a coup d'etat. Yes, indeed. So the last victim is the Duchess, Duchess Anna Henrietta. The Detloff's last victim. Sienna planned it from the start. Indeed. The logical conclusion, Geralt. Yeah, indeed. It's not weird Forcing that she wanted to kill her sister. To start. The virtue's their only link. Enough to get folk talking about a righteous, vengeful beast. Obscured the victim's links to Siana, even as she had those she despised killed off one by one, leaving the Duchess for last. Had she managed to fulfill her plan, none would have questioned the reasons. Most would have thought Anna Henrietta had died for her sins. She was known to show a hard heart on many occasions, ample proof of a lack of compassion. Why would Siana murder her own sister? Out of envy? 
to take power from an inborn penchant for evil? Yes. No. Yes and yes. But all seem likely, and none are mutually exclusive. But if you'd like to know for certain, you could always ask it yourself. Well, we would we would love to learn her motives, but I think she just wanted her dead because, well, she left her out in the wild. I mean. She was abandoned by the one person that she thought that still trusted her, and she trusted her. So Siana just was was broken up about the fact that her own sister just left her to her fate. So, but hey, love to learn her motives. Actually, love to learn her motives. Praiseworthy, I suppose. Sometimes one should stare evil in the face. Seems a bit strong, no? She used my friend as her tool for killing. I believe I've every right to condemn her, but I support your lust for the truth. Thank you, Regis. Some philosophers think empirical examination the sole path to knowledge. I believe you mentioned the Duchess keeps Siana locked up. Courtiers were insisting on a harsher punishment. Much harsher. I think Anna Henrietta had to protect her sister from a lynch mob as much as she wanted to protect her subjects from a criminal. One way or another, she's locked away in a secluded wing of the palace, awaiting trial before a court of law. I'd need to get past some guards to see her. Um... <laughs> coming with? <laughs> coming with? <laughs> of course not. I shall await you at Mayor Lachey's long. I'll not risk entering the palace after Declarf and his minions rampage. Yeah, Besides, that's probably true. I vastly prefer the company of a simple mug of mandrake brew to that of the Duchess's vile sister. So, said straight up, it means you're going off to get drunk because you hate Siana. I've never been fond of categorical statements of that kind, but I admit I could not vouch for my behavior in her presence. She treated Detlaf cruelly, caused his death in the end, and now this, atop all that, no, Geralt. I will not go with you. I will await you at the cemetery. Okay, see you later, Regis. Yeah, about that, so there... There was kind of a vampire war in the city. Everything was on fire. All, the entire lower region was on fire, but I don't see much fire damage, by the way. But hey. So I'm going to take a little break. When we get back, we're going to have a little chat with uh, Siana. Uh, I wonder if that little tumble in the clouds will have any effect on that. But uh, before that, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So uh, thanks again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye.